Hello, in this session we will discuss about uh, plant tissues. We know very well that plant tissue has been divided into two broad categories. One is the meristematic tissues and second is the permanent tissues, right? So here we will discuss about the permanent tissues. Permanent tissues are those tissues in which cell don't have a capacity to divide. So cell has a stop their growth and eventually they develop into a different types of permanent tissues. So we can divide permanent tissues in two categories. One is the simple permanent tissues and second is a, a complex permanent tissues. Even the simple permanent tissues can be divided into a parenchyma, colenchyma and scalenchyma. Similarly, a complex permanent tissues can be divided into xylem and phloem. Now, let's have a look at a simple permanent tissues. So first of all, let's have a comparative account of all these three that is parenchyma, colenchyma and scalorenchyma. You know, this can be primarily differentiated on the basis of the thickening on the wall and the living and the non-living cells. Parenchyma is a living cells and since it is a living, so what happens? The thickening is actually not present over there. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. If you talk about the colenchyma, in case of colenchyma, it is a thickened one. Here thickening is present and uh, uh, it is also living. But if you, if you talk about the scalorenchyma, in case of scalorenchyma, it is a thick wall, but it is a dead tissue. So let's have a look one by one, the different uh, types of uh, parenchyma test tissues. First of all, there's a structure of parenchyma. So this is characterized by a simple structure having a well-defined intracellular spaces. So here cell wall is thin that is made up of cellulose. As we have discussed, it is a living cells and they are characterized by a prominent, uh, prominent intercellular spaces. The cell are mostly isodiametric, round, oval or polygonal, polygonal in transverse section. So let's have a look at the function. So the prime function of parenchyma is the storage of water and the food material. They also give rise to secondary meristem in the form of cochamium and that primarily occur during the secondary growth. And uh, uh, as far as the occurrence is concerned, they occurs in all soft parts of the plants like uh, cortex uh, and uh, any other parts, uh, any other uh, parts of uh, plants. Let's have a look at colenchyma. Now, in case of colenchyma tissue, we see that uh, the cell wall is made up of cellulose, but they have a deposition of hemicellulose and the pectic material. But the most diagnostic feature is that, that these cells have a thickening at the corner of the cell. So they are unevenly thickened at the corner of the cells. Their uh, prime function is uh, uh, providing support and strength. And as we have already discussed that the cells are living and uh, they have a relatively lesser intercellular spaces in comparison to the parenchyma. Cells are somewhat elongated and in transverse section they may appear round or polygonal in shape. Coming to its function, uh, the function is the strength but beside the strength it can also act as a storage. So it is the colenchyma that resists the tearing effect of wind when uh, it is present in the margin of leaves and uh, one of the most important thing about colenchyma test tissue is that these are not at all present in any roots or in monocots. The reason being that they are not present in roots because the roots are found below the earth so actually they don't need any protective tissue so that's why the colenchyma test tissue is not there. As far as their absence in monocots is concerned, the reason being that in monocots the vascular bundles are scattered. So that's why they need more protection. So in place of colenchyma, they have a scalorenchyma. So that is the reason why uh, the colenchyma test tissues are absolutely absent in case of roots and the monocots. Finally, the scalorenchyma. Now in scalorenchyma, as we can see in the diagram, there is a no intracellular species, mechanical tissue. Cell wall is made up of cellulose having deposition of lignin and since it is a lignified, it is 
is it, it is a dead tissue because wherever lignin is present all cells are dead so they don't have any intercellular spaces coming to its function function is prime function is to give strength and rigidity and it also participate in the conduction of water because we know very well that majority of the part of xylary tissue is actually made up of scalp and chyma so that's why it also helps in the conduction process uh, it occurs in all hard parts of the plant found in isolated masses in pulp of fruits uh, you know that uh, uh, the crunchy uh, the crunchy uh, appearance or the crunchy taste of a uh, pear is actually due to the presence of uh, scalene chymatis fiber in that fruits so is the case in case of guava so this is all about the simple permanent tissues so there are certain modifications found in the parenchymatis tissues one of the modification is parenchyma now in case of parenchyma what happens that the air cavity is present now this air cavity provides buoyancy and these are found in hydrophytes besides that there are another parenchyma what we call chlorenchyma now what is the meaning of chlorenchyma these are those parenchyma having chlorophyll and their prime function is photosynthesis and by photosynthesis they form food so it it is it meant for storage of foods similarly there is another one what we call prosenchyma now what is prosenchyma prosenchyma are spindle shaped parenchyma cell parenchyma cell and uh, these cells are meant for a protection so these are a little bit a uh, modified form of parenchyma tissues but the prime function of parenchyma is the storage so beside the storage as per the depending upon certain modification they can also perform other functions as we have seen in case of parenchyma that being presence of air cavity they helps in uh, maintaining the Uh, hydrophytic uh, life for any hydrophytes now let's have a look at this question hydrophytes are able to float due to presence of right now we have discussed that is parenchyma because parenchyma has a air cavity so they helps hydrophytes in uh, providing buoyancy now let's talk about the complex tissues now in case of complex we have a xylem we know very well xylem is main, meant for conduction of water and solutes and as far as the phloem is concerned they are meant for translocation of organic solutes prepared by the photosynthesis now first of all have a look at the xylem so these are the part of xylem they have a tracheids the second is trachea or vessels now they have a fiber in the form of xylem fiber and xylem parenchyma so first of all have a look at tracheids now you know tracheids are very much elongated cell in fact they are not a tube like cell it is a elongated cell what happens that large number of cells actually aggregate together right and after aggregation they form a structure like this now within this particular cell they have a pore in their wall right and the conduction of water is going to occur through the pore only so they don't have any tube like structure here conduction is primarily occurring through the pores only wall in this particular case is hard thick and lignified and tracheids are present in a uh, primitive plant in the form of pteridophytes and gymnosperms so their prime function is the conduction of water and also being a hard they provide mechanical support to the plant so after tracheids we see the another conducting tissue in the form of vessels now you see vessels is a long tube like bodies and here 
the conduction is going to occur through the lumen of the tube. So here the conduction is not going to occur through the pores, rather it is going to occur through the lumen of the tube. Though the pores are present over there, right? But these pores are just of uh, non-functional pore or we can say it is a vestigial in origin, vestigial in nature. Okay, so it is formed of a row of cylindrical cells arranged in longitudinal series, right? And primarily found in angiosperms. But most interestingly, it do not find in xerophytes, parasitic plants and aquatic plants. So their prime representation in the terrestrial plants, terrestrial angiospermic plants. Okay. Now, have a look at xylem fiber. Now, xylem fiber are a dead tissue and uh, they are primarily meant for the mechanical support. As far as the xylem parenchyma is concerned, this is the only living cell within the xylem and they are meant for storage of starch and the fatty foods. So this is all about the xylem. Let's have a look at phloem. But before that, uh, what could be the answer of this question? You know, when suit is first uh, suit, suit is the first to die. So when, when the xylem is going to be removed, because when the xylem will be removed, the water will be deprived of uh, any water, right? And if the water will not reach, so it is the suit that will first droop and eventually it will die. Okay. Now let's talk about the phloem. Now again, phloem can have these components like sieve elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem sclerenchyma, but is also known as bast fiber. This, this fiber is of very uh, commercial importance and whatever uh, ropes or fibers what we see, they are primarily made up of bast fiber. Now first of all, let's have a look at sieve cells. Now sieve cells are present in a primitive uh, uh, plants like pteridophyte and gymnosperms. So again, it is also uh, it is also present in the form of cell and here also the conduction is going to through the lateral wall okay as we have seen in case of uh, trachea so uh, this is present in only pteridophyte and gymnosperm but if you see the sieve tube now sieve tube is a continuous tube like a structure now all the two consecutive tubes are separated by a sieve plates very interestingly sieve tube is a living it consists of living cell but this cell don't have a nucleus and in, ad in addition to that uh, there is a very special protein called P protein is present in the cytoplasm of a sieve tube and this P protein helps in the translocation of solutes so sieve tube member is a advanced feature and it is found only in case of angiosperm okay coming to the companion cells now why it is called companion cells because as we can see in the diagram this companion cells is always associated with the sieve tube now it is associated along with the sieve tube because the nuclear function of sieve tube is actually carried out by the companion cells since the sieve tube don't have any nucleus so that's why for nuclear function it depends upon its adjoining companion cells uh, the cells are smaller have a dense cytoplasm prominent nuclei and since it is a companion cell so when the sieve tube die the companion cell also die now phloem parenchyma they also remain closely associated with the sieve elements and uh, it is mainly concerned with the storage of organic foods but very interestingly these are absent in monocots so phloem, phloem parenchyma is present only in case of dicots and finally the phloem sclerenchyma or bast fiber so uh, as earlier i told you that uh, uh, whatever the fiber of commerce we see they are primarily made up of the phloem parenchyma so the manufacturing of roofs and cords, everything is actually done by the 
a bas fiber only so this is all about the complex conducting tissue that is present in plant thank you